Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video which I have never done on my channel. You guys know I'm very like weird about my body and things like that. But I wanted to step out my shell for a bit and I actually wanted to do this because I actually like um, personally watching videos like this. Um, I'm going to be doing a bra try on haul and I'm so excited actually. Um, and I feel like it's really good reference, especially if you are of a larger cup size like myself, which I will get into that after the intro. But if you guys want to see this video and see all the bras that I got and my thoughts and opinions in pros and cons of each bra, then definitely stay tuned guys. So just to give you guys a little background, my bust size is a 32 to 34 G, sometimes a 36 depending on my weight and depending on the company. Um, so I, I want to say I'm between a 32 to 36 G and all the bras that I ordered, I did order in a 32 G or the UK European equivalent, which it looks like it's a 32 F or a 32 double F or something like that. Um, so if you go on the website, the, the site that I ordered from was Bare Necessities, which they have a ton of different brands, ton of different price ranges and things like that. Um, so I kind of went with them because I did see that they actually went up to a G. Um, so I ordered a bunch of different ones and um, yeah, when you're on the site, you can put in, you know, I only want to search my bra size and I put 32 G. If I got to a bra that maybe was like a UK brand or something like that, then it would say, you know, the equivalent is a 32F. And I would just order that one per the recommendation of the site. So just so you guys know, if you guys say, hear me say 32F or something like that, that is why. Because a lot, a few of them, actually a lot of them, um, it gave me, it was like, you know, this size is equivalent to the UK size 32F because it's a UK, a UK brand bra. So, with that, let's jump into this video. So, the first one, this is from, the brand is Hanachi, and the style, I believe, is MB, and this is, again, a UK brand, which is a 32F size equivalent, and I'm going to be honest, when I was trying on these bra, I don't know who in the world said that this was an F, or... A 32 G in US, but these these cup sizes is giving me maybe D vibes, double D vibes. So first things first, to me, when bras get to like that double D range and up, two rows of hooks is not enough. You need to go like three or or th at least three, four or more. Okay, so like in, once I see like two rows of hooks like this. I already know it's going to be a no-go. No go. Um, not saying that they can't work, but their bra is not going to last as long as it could, 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 in my opinion. So this is the first bra. Honestly, it's a super pretty bra. Like, a super pretty bra. I'm going to be honest. So pretty, nice, and lacy. No lining, which I love. It does have, like, I don't want to say, like, it's like a lining so that it's not completely see-through. Um... I mean, it's see-through, obviously, because it's lace, but it's not just lacy all around. There's some, like, extra extra layer of, like, fabric on the inside, but it's not padded at all. Which, if you are bigger busted, if you're like me, I don't prefer bras that have padding. Um, at least not a lot, even though I know most of them have padding. Yeah, this bra, it was super pretty, but it just, there was a lot of spillage and a lot of side boob spillage. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of these bras um, in this haul are like that. So I'm a little disappointed. Um, the next is this one. This one is from a brand called Pour Moi. This is the brand. Pour Moi. And it's a UK brand. <laughs> so this bra was supposed to be like a little sexy, sexy bra. It's super cute though. Like it's supposed to be like really sexy. It has like a little cutout and a little tie right here. It's so cute. It's not meant to honestly wear out or like 
unless you're wearing like a jacket over or something but like my nipple honey was this was right through this hole like there was no hiding that maneuvering that then my nipple was showing right through the hole you guys saw i had to hold hold them for the video again two rows of hooks which is the most annoying thing when i see bras in general of this caliber and size um honestly nice bra but homegirl don't fit at all like i want to say this is probably the worst fitting one which at the end of the day since it's kind of just for show i mean whatever but it wasn't a it wasn't a g next one this is another brand for moi 32f uk sizing two rows of straps disappointing i kind of had high hopes for this bra when i saw it online because i felt like it looked like a really good kind of t-shirt bra tank not tank top bra but like a nice t-shirt bra um just very smooth on the front um which it is um but again i had a lot of side boob spillage which is tend to be most of my problem a lot of the time i do like even though it does have two hooks it does have a really thick side so that was nice i kind of wish that it was a little thicker like on this part right here to cover that side boob um and i might have i might have held on to it a little bit but nice bra i'm gonna go online and see if maybe i can get this one in a bigger size because honestly it is a nice bra but um yeah it, it just didn't it just didn't fit it just didn't fit bro Next is this, okay, so this bra I really had high hopes for, especially when I saw it in the video. I'm going to try and insert the pictures from the website as well versus like how it was on me. I'm going to insert the pictures from the website as well. I really had high hopes for this next bra because I just love the cut of it and I just always wanted to wear a bra that was cut like this. Um, <clears throat> first things first is that I really noticed that I loved is that it had four rows of hooks. But this is called the, this is again by Pure Ma. Pure Ma. I ordered a lot of these bras. This is the Viva Lux Long Line Bra. I just love how it's shaped. I feel like this will be a really good bra to wear like under an outfit or wear like a little jacket or even wear under your clothes or whatever. But I feel like it would just be a really, almost like a cute top like to wear out to the club. But I loved how it was cut. It's the back was super thick. I'm I'm literally I'm going online to get a bigger size of, of this, and hopefully it fits. There was a lot of spillage um, on the sides in the front, um, but it had a really thick band on the back, which I love that. Um, so I'm definitely gonna go and try and order a bigger size than this. But this I don't I don't know if it's this these UK sizing. I just need to just order what I think because a 32F is not equivalent to a 32G. I don't know who the hell. I don't I don't get it. I don't know what railings they measuring out there, but that ain't it. Next is this bra. This is again a, a, a nice bra. Um, it does have three rows, so that's a good um, starting point. Um, it's a nice lacy bra. Super pretty. A lot of spillage though on the side not too bad like in the middle but definitely a lot of spillage side boob wise um kind of disappointed because i like this bra too um i may go on this one is actually a third it is a 32 g so i'm thinking maybe if i went up a size like to a 34 or 36 and when i try on bras i try it on on the very first hook i don't go all the way in i start on the first hook because that's kind of how bras work you want to work your way in when they start getting stretchy and like you know worn like normal clothes they loosen up so you can use the second or third hook so when i tried on all these bras i only started on the first hook and they were like you can know they were snug so i probably i'm gonna go back and try to order this one in like a 34 maybe a 36 and hopefully that'll help with the thigh boob issue um but i do like that it had three rows it's very pretty like that it didn't have a lot of lining so that was a plus as well next is this bra this is from another uk brand 32g this one is called uh by fantasies i think is the brand yeah fantasies is the brand it says size support 
This is supposed to be a 32G equivalent UK 32F. This is not a G. This is like a D cup. Like this isn't a, I don't know. This was a really nice bra too. I love that this brand here was so thick. Um, this is another one I may go and try and just actually get like the size that it's like 32G. Hopefully they have a UK version of a 32G, but like set like a 32G UK size is equivalent to like a, a G. I don't know, but I'm hoping that they have a bigger size because I do like this have a big band. I do like that it has, it only has two rows, um, which I'm hoping if I go up in a size, it'll have a couple more rows. Um, but I do like that it was very thick here. Um, I do like that it's not lined. Um, but it just didn't spill. It was a lot of spillage. Like you guys see, like spillage everywhere. Okay, so I got two more to go. This one I was kind of had high hopes for, but I was kind of like underwhelmed. This one is called Curvy Kate. This um particular brand is supposed to go up to a k but it's again a uk sizing so this is a 32 double f which is supposed to be equivalent to a us 32 g so they say on the site um i like the color it was super pretty color um but come um, girl it's just it wouldn't fit it wouldn't fit it ain't gonna fit it was tight um, it is strapless. I do like that it had the silicones on the side. I do like that it was four rows of hooks. So this may be another one that I go on and try and get a larger size if available. But um, I do like the cut of it. Um, I'm curious to see if I actually get one that fits how these, um, it kind of has like, not like boning, but like, like these little seams here. I'm wondering how it will look under a shirt. Um, but it was no point of me putting on a shirt to see that because it would have been spilling out anyway everywhere so and it is strapless it's convertible so that's the main reason why i picked this bra up this was the only one that was convertible that i saw on there that came in my size so i may go on and see if they have another size because the girl was highly highly disappointed okay and so for the last one this brand is by wakal and I've heard a lot about this particular brand in some other videos that I've watched. Um, I do actually like this bra. I am going to go back and get this in a bigger band size. I might get a 34 or a 36. This band size, I love this. This this bra is really, really nice. It did have a little spillaging on the side. It does have a little extra fabric here for the side. So I'm actually going to go back and get this one in a bigger size because I actually love how this one cut. I love how smooth it is and seamless it is. This will be really good under, I might get a couple of these. Um, this was probably the only one that I actually liked that remotely fit. Um, but I know that I need a, a, a wider band size. I definitely need to get like a 32, a 34. Um, this one does have... Um, this was like a US 32G. Yeah, this was a US 32G. So this one was the remotely the one that fit the closest. So I'm going to go back and get a bigger band size of this. But it still didn't actually fit. I feel like I need to get the 34. Um, I know a 36 is going to be too big because the bra that I wear now is a 36G. And it's very loose on the size. So I know I need to go down and I know I've lost a lot of inches since I've worn that last bra so yeah that's just how I feel so that is all the bras that I ordered um I hope you guys enjoyed this video I have a link for each of the bras listed down below if you guys are interested in checking them out they have really nice bras but I feel like when you order bras online it's like hit or miss but finding my size in store is very rare as well so it's kind of like I kind of got to do what I got to do so that's what I'm gonna do and yeah that's it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know I will you know see what I can do um I do I did order a lot of boob tape I ordered bassy brassy bra and things like that but I'm gonna actually try those things out when I actually have somewhere to go because those things are not reusable, so I'm not about to sit here and try them on and then just take it off to go to bed. So I will have a couple more videos coming up with those kind of things as well. 
um, if you guys are interested. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.